Atmos Phoenix capsule. The Atmos Phoenix capsule, developed by German startup Atmos Space Cargo, is a next-generation uncrewed return vehicle designed to transport up to 100 kilograms of scientific and commercial payloads safely from low Earth orbit back to Earth. Unlike traditional systems that rely on heavy ablative tiles or parachutes, Phoenix employs a pioneering inflatable atmospheric decelerator. This heat shield deploys in orbit, becoming rigid to increase drag, reduce peak heating, and lower g-forces during re-entry. The capsule remains attached to its launch vehicle until deployment on its return trajectory, transmitting telemetry and payload data before ocean splashdown. Its efficiency in payload to dry mass ratio surpasses conventional designs. While the first prototype was not built to survive re-entry, it successfully demonstrated deployment, data collection and system performance. Future versions aim to feature propulsion, solar power and precision landing, enabling reusable, cost-effective orbital logistics for science and industry. Polaris Dawn Polaris Dawn is a groundbreaking commercial spaceflight by SpaceX carrying a four-person civilian crew aboard the Crew Dragon Resilience, launched on a Falcon 9 rocket. The mission entered an elliptical orbit with its highest point around 1,400 kilometers, marking the loftiest Earth orbit achieved since the Apollo era. It featured the first commercial astronaut spacewalk, with two crew members exiting through Dragon's forward hatch while the cabin was fully depressurized. All four wore SpaceX's advanced EVA suits, designed for improved mobility, thermal regulation, and equipped with three D-printed visors and heads-up displays. Over several days, the crew conducted nearly 40 biomedical and scientific experiments on radiation effects, telemedicine, ocular health, ultrasound diagnostics, and microgravity blood flow. They also tested Starlink's laser-based inter-satellite communications, enabling high-speed data transfer in space. By combining pioneering EVA, advanced research and next-generation communications, Polaris Dawn marks a major step toward future deep space missions to the Moon and Mars. VAST VAST, a California-based company, is pioneering the development of commercial space stations aimed at supporting both private and government missions. The initial module, Haven 1, provides 45 cubic meters of living space, designed with a focus on human comfort and usability. Key features include private crew quarters, a 1.1-meter domed window for Earth observation, and a deployable communal table to encourage interaction among astronauts. Communication is powered by a Starlink laser terminal, delivering high-speed, low-latency broadband essential for real-time data transfer and mission coordination. Propulsion is provided by Impulse Space's Saif thruster, incorporating reaction control system thrusters for precise attitude control and deorbit thrusters for safe end-of-life disposal. Haven 1 serves as a stepping stone toward more advanced stations, with Haven 2 planned to feature greater capacity and capabilities. Through these innovations, VAST aims to establish a sustainable and scalable human presence in space, fostering new opportunities for research, exploration and commercial activity beyond Earth. Dassault Vortex The Dassault Vortex is a bold European spaceplane initiative created by Dassault Aviation in partnership with the French Ministry of Armed Forces and the European Space Agency. Designed to bridge aviation and spaceflight, it offers reusable, runway-capable access to low Earth orbit for satellite deployment, space station resupply, and defense operations. Development follows four phases. Vortex D, A1, three demonstrator for hypersonic and thermal protection testing. Vortex S, a two, three autonomous smart free flyer. Vortex C, a full-scale uncrewed cargo model. And Vortex M, a crewed variant for astronaut transport. Key advantages include rocket launches without a fairing, full orbital and atmospheric maneuverability, and conventional runway takeoffs and landings. Its large payload bay enables mission versatility. By focusing on reusability, Vortex aims to lower launch costs, shorten turnaround times, and position Europe as a leader in next generation, flexible and sustainable space access. Starship Mission Mars SpaceX's Starship Mars mission represents a pioneering attempt to create a sustained human presence on Mars. Standing 123 meters tall, Starship is a fully reusable spacecraft designed to carry both crew and cargo across interplanetary distances. Central to Elon Musk's vision of making humanity multiplanetary, the mission's first uncrewed launch is planned for late 2026, aligned with an optimal Earth-Mars window. This initial flight will deliver Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot to assist in early exploration and setup tasks. Crewed missions may start by 2029, but 2031 is more likely. A major hurdle is orbital refueling, a technology SpaceX is actively developing to enable return trips. The chosen landing site, Arcadia Planitia, 
offers flat terrain and accessible water ice, key for producing fuel and sustaining life. Through these ambitious steps, SpaceX hopes to pave the way for a self-sufficient Martian settlement in the decades ahead. Zephalto Celeste Zephalto Celeste is a pressurized luxury capsule carried by a helium balloon to the stratosphere, reaching about 25 kilometers above Earth. At this altitude, above 98% of the atmosphere, passengers can admire the planet's curvature in tranquil silence. Designed by architect Joseph Durand, the interior features soft creams beiges, curved lines, mirrored panels, plush seating, adjustable lighting, and panoramic windows totaling about 75 square feet, offering a breathtaking 1,400 kilometers vista. The six-hour journey includes a 90-minute ascent at 4 meters per second 3 hours, drifting at peak altitude, and a gentle descent. Six passengers and two pilots travel together, with no training required. On board, Michelin-starred chefs prepare gourmet meals paired with curated wines, and Wi-Fi allows real-time sharing. Celeste's low-carbon design produces just approximately 27 kg CO2 per flight, and its safety is certified with CNEs and ESA standards, using patented balloon technology for a sustainable, serene space tourism experience. Orbit Space Rider The Orbit Space Rider, formerly known as Space Reusable Integrated Demonstrator for Europe Return, is Europe's first reusable uncrewed spaceplane, offering cost-effective routine access to low Earth orbit. Launched aboard Vega C Plus from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana, it features a lifting body re-entry module and an enhanced AVAM plus upper stage providing power, propulsion, attitude control, and communications. Capable of operating in orbit for about two months, it returns via a steerable parafoil for precise runway landings at sites like Santa Maria in the Azores or Kourou. Its cargo bay holds about 1,200 litres and supports payloads of 600 to 800 kilograms offering power, thermal control, telemetry, and data handling. Ideal for microgravity research, in-orbit tech demonstrations, Earth observation, and small satellite deployment, the Orbit Space Rider can be refurbished for at least five missions, making it a flexible and sustainable European space platform. NASA Orion Spacecraft NASA's Orion Spacecraft is a next-generation deep space crew vehicle designed to transport up to four astronauts beyond low Earth orbit and return them safely at re-entry speeds over 20,000 miles per hour. Launched atop the Space Launch System rocket, Orion combines a Lockheed Martin-built crew module with a European service module that supplies propulsion, power, life support, and thermal control. It can function independently for up to 21 days and for as long as six months when attached to the Lunar Gateway. Safety features include a launch abort system capable of pulling the crew to safety within milliseconds. Navigation relies on redundant star trackers, GPS, inertial sensors, optical cameras, and LiDAR. Four solar arrays generate enough power for two three-bedroom homes. Its Avcote heat shield withstands 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit during re-entry. Orion's uncrewed Artemis I mission in 2022 orbited the Moon, paving the way for Artemis II, the first crewed flight, planned for early 2026. NASA Habitable Solar System NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory is a planned next-generation flagship space telescope designed to directly image Earth-like planets in the habitable zones of nearby stars and study their atmospheres for signs of life. Scheduled for launch in the 2040s, HWO will feature a 6-8 to eight meter mirror operating in ultraviolet, optical and infrared wavelengths. Advanced tools like coronagraphs and potentially starshades will block starlight, revealing faint rocky exoplanets. With ultra-stable optics to minimize vibration and thermal drift, the observatory will achieve unprecedented contrast, enabling detection of small worlds around Sun-like stars. HWO aims to image at least two dozen potential habitable planets, performing spectroscopic analysis to detect molecules such as oxygen, methane and water vapor possible biosignatures. Beyond exoplanet research, it will study other planetary systems to understand planet formation and evolution, marking NASA's boldest step toward discovering living worlds beyond Earth. Boeing X-37B The Boeing X-37B is a reusable, uncrewed spaceplane developed by NASA and now operated by the US Air Force and Space Force as a flexible orbital testbed. Measuring 29 feet long with a wingspan under 15 feet, it launches atop rockets like the Atlas V, Falcon 9, or Falcon Heavy, operates autonomously for extended periods, and lands horizontally. Its thermal protection system, modular avionics, and adaptable airframe allow it to host diverse experiments. 
During its seventh mission, the X-37B spent over a year in a highly elliptical orbit, demonstrating aerobraking, dipping into the upper atmosphere to alter orbits while conserving fuel. This enabled access to new orbital regimes and safe disposal of service modules. Past missions have included radiation studies, space domain awareness payloads, plant seed experiments, and prototype testing. The upcoming eighth mission will trial laser communications and quantum inertial navigation, underscoring the X-37B's reusability, autonomy, and versatility in space. Blue Origin New Shepard Blue Origin's New Shepard is a fully reusable, autonomous suborbital rocket designed to carry six passengers or research payloads past the Kármán line for short space flights. The BE-3PM engine uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as propellants, generating only water vapor as exhaust. After about 110 seconds of powered ascent, the booster reaches Mach 3 and separates from the crew capsule near 100 kilometers altitude. Passengers experience several minutes of microgravity and sweeping Earth views before the capsule lands under parachutes, aided by a backup solid rocket motor. The booster returns via vertical landing. Nearly 99% of the system's dry mass is recovered for rapid reuse, reducing costs. NASA frequently flies experiments aboard New Shepard, such as propellant gauging and navigation technologies. In 2025, the vehicle demonstrated simulated lunar gravity by spinning the capsule at 11 revolutions per minute, enabling two minutes of 1 6th G to test equipment for future moon missions. Virgin Galactic Virgin Galactic's suborbital space travel system uses its Spaceship 2-class rocket plane, VSS Unity, launched from the White Knight 2 mothership at about 50,000 feet. After release, Unity's hybrid rocket motor accelerates it to Mach 3 in under 90 seconds, taking passengers to roughly 85 to 90 kilometers altitude. Travelers experience several minutes of weightlessness and breathtaking views of Earth's curvature before re-entry, aided by the craft's feathered wing design for stability. Descending at up to approximately 6G Unity glides back to Spaceport America for a runway landing. Designed for reusability, the system serves both private space tourists and research missions with Virgin Galactic planning more advanced Delta-class space planes for 2026. Between mid-2023 and mid-2024, the company flew seven commercial missions, ending Unity's service in June 2024. Offering astronaut training, large viewing windows, and payload capabilities, Virgin Galactic blends innovation and spectacle to make suborbital spaceflight more accessible. Rocket Lab Neutron Rocket Rocket Lab's Neutron Rocket is a next-generation, medium-lift, two-stage reusable launch vehicle designed for both commercial and deep space missions. Standing about 43 meter tall with a 7 meter base diameter, it can deliver up to 13,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit or 1,500 kilograms to Mars or Venus. Built primarily from lightweight carbon composites, Neutron uses LOX methane propellants and is powered by nine Archimedes engines in its first stage producing around 1.5 million pound force of thrust, plus a vacuum-optimized Archimedes engine on the second stage. Its innovative captive fairing remains attached during recovery, simplifying reuse. Booster retrieval will be performed at sea on the autonomous barge Return on Investment, with regular recoveries planned from 2026. Development is advancing quickly at Rocket Lab's Wallops Island, Virginia site, with first launch targeted for late 2025, paving the way for frequent commercial and national security missions in the years ahead. Toyota Luna Cruiser The Toyota Luna Cruiser, a pressurized rover being developed by Toyota in partnership with JAXA for NASA's Artemis program, will allow astronauts to travel the moon for 30 to 45 days without needing to wear spacesuits. About 6 meters long, 5.2 meter wide, and 3.8 meter tall, it offers living space for two, expandable to four in emergencies. Powered by a regenerative fuel cell system, it uses solar energy during the lunar day to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, storing energy for use during the two-week lunar night. Capable of traveling over 10,000 kilometers, it features six-wheel drive, independent steering, durable metal wheels, and advanced navigation with star tracking, LiDAR, and radar. Inside, it prioritizes intuitive controls, augmented displays, comfort, and crew well-being. Expected to launch around 2029 to 2032, the cruiser's technologies could also serve Earth applications such as disaster response, remote logistics, and sustainable transportation. Sierra Space Dream Chaser Sierra Space's Dream Chaser is a reusable space plane with a lifting body design built for missions in low Earth orbit. 
Based on NASA's HL-20 concept, it measures about 30 feet in length and features foldable wings, enabling it to fit within various rocket payload fairings, including the United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur. The spacecraft launches vertically atop a rocket and lands horizontally on conventional runways, distinguishing it from traditional capsules. Capable of carrying 12,000 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station and returning 4,000 pounds, it is ideal for transporting delicate experiments. Its low G re-entry ensures the safe return of sensitive payloads. Dream Chaser is built for at least 15 flights, focusing on affordability through reusability. Future crewed variants are planned, potentially supporting human spaceflight. With its versatility, gentle re-entry and runway landings, Dream Chaser is poised to play a key role in commercial space exploration.